This is Justin Keller from Coach Collins' Biomechanics class, and what we're going to take a look at today is how to do a gait analysis video. Uh, the first thing you need to do is go to a gym, you know, go somewhere with a treadmill where you can get a couple good angles. Uh, some of the angles we'll look at today is obviously the side angle, and then later on an angle from behind. What this allows us to do is to see the movements of the lower body and how you know the knees, the ankles, how, how the joints react. Uh, one of the important things that you want to do in a gait analysis video is to be able to slow it down. So after you get your video angles, take it back home to some, some video editing software and slow her down. Um, as you can see right here, we'll be looking at a lot of pronation and medial and, and lateral rotation of the feet. Uh, it's usually better to do gait analysis barefoot. I felt like I was able to you know, get a pretty good view of my gait uh, wearing wearing tennis shoes, but what we look at is, you know, kind of when I make, you know, start my planner phase, am I going to heel to toe or is my gait a little bit messed up? I just kind of, you know, we just look at several different things. Uh, this right, like the side angle here slowed down. It shows a, a better view of that heel to toe. Um, but there's several different things we want to look at. And basically, you get a lot of different angles. Look at uh, look at the joints and take it home and slow it down. Um, you know, kind of see if there's anything that doesn't look normal, anything that's just 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 out of the place. But basically, all you need is a treadmill. Get in there to the gym, get things going, and you can can do a good uh, gait analysis. So hopefully, this helps set things up for you. And that's all we got.